Hi everybody, I'm Christine Jones, founder and CEO of Clear Choice Financial Solutions, LLC. Are you ready to Canva? Today we're going to look into removing the backgrounds of pictures in Canva. Now, depending on how things go, I'll show you how to do it in one more site, but let's just see what happens here, okay? So as you can see, I started you off with just a basic uh, template with some framework here. There are multiple templates that you can use, but for what I want to show you, this one will work best. And I just didn't want you to come into a you know blank screen, okay? So I'm going to choose a picture over here. I'm going to choose this gentleman right here. Now, I just clicked his picture and his picture came right up into this space. Um, of course, I could, you know, drag these corners, make him larger or smaller. Um, I can, you know, do the same with this, but I can also remove portions of the picture with this. So we'll show you how that fits in when we are actually removing the background or actually placing pictures in a new background. So as you can see, there's a lot going on in the background of this picture already. He appears to be a teacher in a classroom. A couple of things that I notice. The background is a little blurred. Well, you know, when you have photography, there are techniques that are used to let you see the background, but they also want to make sure that you have the focal point. So it's clear that this person is the focal point, but what that says to me is that that background stands a very good chance of being removed. So I'm going to try it. Now, follow me. I'm going to take the cursor. Can you see where we are? And I'm going to go up to effects. Click effects. And look, background remover is the first thing in the list. Let's click that. And as you can see, the magic has already begun. So let's see what happens. Wow, look at that. Now the complete background was removed. However, notice a couple of things. This is not a natural line in an arm. And also, it looks like he does not have a lower half. But let's look at the original picture, and that will explain it. Well, it looks like his arm is partially cut off because his computer was there, and now that computer is gone. It looks as if he has no legs because he was sitting at a desk, and now that desk is gone. Let's remove that picture. So what that says to me is that I need to make this look more natural unless I plan to add things to support that. It also lets me know that sometimes the background supports uh, a portion of a picture more than we realize. But this is an easy fix right here. So I'm going to just, to cover the fact that he appears to have no legs, I'm going to bring him downward. To cover the fact that that is an unnatural um, line on the arm, I'm going to bring him over to the left because that's the side where that unnatural line is. Now you see how that looks a bit different now, right? Um, I'm also going to just show you something briefly. Why not? If I don't want him on the left side, I go up here to flip and it gives me options for horizontal and vertical. Well, if I go vertical, you see, we don't want that. But if I flip him horizontally, Look at what happens. And then I could simply drag him over to the right, okay? So for purposes of this particular video, I'm gonna leave him on the left-hand side. I'm gonna undo the other movements. And now we have this blank space to deal with. And that is where I'm gonna add the background. However, I'm gonna show you a way that allows you to add the background without damaging the other pictures and, and I, I'll show you what I mean by that in a few okay but I chose this background here now I like this background uh, the gentleman in the picture seemed to have been a teacher and well this looks like a blackboard but it also looks like there's a bookshelf in the shape of a tree with books on it now I like this uh, but there's a couple of things that I need to fix before I proceed. Number one, I see a floor here. Well, if the gentleman in the picture 
doesn't have any legs up under him because they were not appearing in the original photo, then having a floor here is not going to make sense. So I'm going to use this little apparatus here and I'm just going to bring this upwards to take that possibility of a floor away. Okay. And then what I can do is just make the picture larger this way. Okay. Now I guess you're going to say, well, wait a minute, the elephant in the room, why did you cover his face? Why did you cover him? Period. Well, I'm going to show you something else. Now we can uh, make the margins a little bit e more even as we go along. However, watch what I do here because of the fact that we covered the man with this new picture, I'm going to go up here to position. I'm going to click position and it gives me to back or backward. Now there are times when you'll see to front, forward, etc. but it gives you the options that you have for this particular uh, project that you're working on. So I'm going to click to back. Wow, watch that, you see? So now we brought him right back into the background. Now, if I really want to be picky, I can say, well, yeah, that's nice, but uh, I don't want him sitting directly in front of that uh, tree bookshelf. So I may move the bookshelf over just a bit, right, and adjust it a little bit, okay? Now, if I do that, he appears to be sitting not just directly in front of this bookshelf, but let's say that I had some other effect that I was going for. Then I could make him larger, and he would appear to just pop out of the screen. New background and all. Okay? So we took him from this to this. And this is not the only type of background that you can use. I'm going to show you another. Now, let's not recreate this border. If I wanted to do that, I could click this little symbol here, which means duplicate page. And as you can see, page two would be listed here. And if you go up, you see I have the exact same thing. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to throw this one in the trash. I'm going to simply add a new page, and this time it is completely blank. This time it's completely blank. Now, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to choose See All, and I'm going to choose this young lady here. Now, one of the things that I notice about this picture is the vivid color. However, the background is of a nature that lets me know that this picture was specifically designed to remove that background if need be. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the background. Remember effects, then background remover. And let's watch the magic. And again, it's going to take a few seconds. By the way, if you ever have a picture where uh, there's just a lot going on in the background, you may end up having to choose a new picture and you'll get a banner somewhere up in here that says something to the effect of the system could not detect uh, a background so please choose another photo and that happens okay so now we have a very crisp um, picture if you saw me click this this uh, gives you a way to add notes to your design okay not going to add any notes right now but this young lady is a very vivid presence on this page. However, once again, no lower half. So that lets me know that I'm going to want to put something under her or I'm going to want to drop her at the bottom of the screen so that it does not look unnatural. But let's apply a different background. Well, let's kind of go a little bit wild. I'm going to choose this background here or this picture here. Well, let's get it across the screen and I guess you're saying well here again you covered her face you covered her yes I did and I'll show you why in a minute this is the way that gets you better results okay so I've covered her and the entire screen with this new picture 
I'm going to go up here to position and this time I don't get the option for you know two back just backward so I'm going to click that and look how she pops into the screen here now adjust that a little bit she pops into the screen and let's say that I wanted to just make her look like she was just owning that screen All right now look I can click it off I can click it on it depends on what you want to do if you decide that that's not what you want you can always with the click of a button delete someone or delete the entire background let's go back now if I wanted to I'm going to dr dr drag this line over because when I do what I'm going to do that line will make it so that spatially it doesn't work well okay um, I'm not going to go too far into that only because that might get confusing and I don't want to do that but I'm going to flip her horizontally so you see she's just facing a slightly different direction so the advantage of that is let's say that there is something over here that you want you know to pretend that she is looking at or addressing then you would want to flip her in that direction all right we're just going to go back now let's say that i want to do a different screen a different background i absolutely can i can remove this one and let's start all over now i am doing this the long way i'm going to show you why in a minute and then I think you'll see exactly what I mean. Same process, drag the picture to the end of the screen, position backward, and look, she just pops into an entirely new background. And I could put her in any kind of background. I could put her in this blue background, which almost makes it look kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of uh, with an out of space or outer space I should say type of vibe and I like that now let me show you why I did it this way I did it this way because let's add a new page normally when you want something to fit into the screen a certain way you go over here to elements and you grab a frame Let's grab the frame, click it, and it fits here. Now, anytime you see this, this is a placeholder. So whatever shape this is in, that's the shape of the picture that you're going to get. Now, let's say that I had gone here and uh, dragged this picture over. Now, it's important that you drag it because, once again, if I simply click, it's going to just flop in the middle of the page. So let's show you what I really mean. I'm going to take this and drag it over and now it fits into the entire screen. I'm then gonna take this young lady, I'm gonna plop her in the middle of the screen, effect, background remover, let it do its thing. Now, something else I could have done, I could have duplicated her. Um, and what I mean by that, I, so let me show you that, let me wait until this happens. I could have duplicated her from the previous slide but if I want to duplicate, I go over here to duplicate. Now, don't get these two confused. This is duplicate page. This is actually just duplicate, whether it's text or a picture or what have you. So whatever you have sort of highlighted is going to duplicate. So now you see I have multiples of her. And whatever the last state is that she was in, um, that's the last state that's going to multiply so you see she didn't have a background in the last state that she was in so when we multiply her she doesn't have a background at all okay so i'm going to take a couple of her off and now she's in the screen now remember when i was in this one where i had the i plopped the picture or the background in the screen and i actually worked it up into the corners I was able to move her without a problem. Here's the problem with using the frame in elements, this thing here. When I go to move her, look what happens. And what happens is when she, or whatever picture you have there, 
gets moved into a certain space, it triggers this frame or this grid, I should say, to believe that you want that to be the picture that is, is taken up in that space. And so any slight movement is going to then take that uh, background away and is going to just leave whatever picture you have there for you to work with. And the only way you're going to be able to really do a whole lot about that is to keep undoing, okay? So it is not to your advantage to go to the grid and try to move um, characters around or what have you in this space, okay? Now, I'll show you one more time. So we'll just grab one more picture. And we're going to, let's grab this young lady here. I'm actually going to just erase this. This young lady here, we're going to take the background away. We're going to let the system do its magic. And let's say, let's say that we want to, I don't know, put her in a beautiful front lawn. Let's say we want to put her in a beautiful front lawn. So which one do we want to pick? Well, let's just pick this one, okay? Let's just pick this one. Go up here to position, backward, and she is now in a beautiful front lawn okay it doesn't matter what the picture is unless it's a picture with too much in the background and it will be hard to pick up okay so that is what you do in canva to remove backgrounds and apply whatever picture you remove the background from to a new setting all right um, let's try one more fancy thing though because someone asked asked me about this and so let's just go for it. I'm gonna get a new window and I'm gonna type in the word remove and you'll see I've used this before. So um, remove BG, remove background. I'm going to upload an image. That's what you do, upload an image. And I'm gonna grab this image here, okay? Now you see it had that uh, colored background and now I'm free of a background. Well, here are a couple of things that I notice. Sometimes something gets picked up um, that might have been there. I'm kind of not even sure what that is, but you can actually go to edit and you can erase and then you're doing it manually. You click erase and you see this, you're doing it manually. Now this adjusts the size of the brush. so. If I click like that, then the brush will be really, really big. But if I bring it down here, the brush will be really, really small. And then I can take this and watch. Now my hand has to be rather steady. This is one reason why I don't like this too much. But I removed that blemish. And there seems to be one here. So I, I took those away. Now I can restore them if I you know, would like to. I can just take this and you see, I can actually restore the entire color scheme that was there, okay? But if I don't want to do that, then I can go back to what I did. Now, if that's not enough, let's go back to backgrounds. Well, remember when I showed you the background with the young man um, that we removed the background from in Canva? And you get something where you can blur well, look at this. You get the hint of the background, but then whatever it is or whoever it is that you really want the focus to be on, 
then becomes the focus. But this is what I like about this um, little site. You can actually, when, when, whenever you remove the background from a picture, when you go into backgrounds, you can actually just pick, they have chosen some for you, but if you chose blur up here, you will get what from whatever you choose down here, you will get the style of blur that you chose. So I'm gonna just take um, all of that blur off. And look, it just drops me in the middle of what looks like a city, okay? Um, or it drops me in the middle of a painting. Look at this. And it just never ends. So this is an easy way. I think someone may remember this background. I did another picture um, over the weekend, I believe, and had this little background. It you know, looks like I have some snow-capped mountains or you know, behind me or something to that effect. And I can just do whatever, okay? So when you do that, if you decide that that's the one you want, then just click download. Download image. And look what happens. So now you have a new image. Now I could actually change the name. So I could say, say me, that's me. And I could say um, hot pink dots from remove dot bg okay and that's going to be that and that's it i wonder did my title take let's see it may or may not because i was working kind of quickly but you get the message i can yeah okay i have to click it oh, okay now it did it all right so that is it everybody from Canva to remove background or remove.bg. And there are other sites that you can use to remove backgrounds, but some of them are easier to use than others. And uh, I do like to keep it simple. So this is why I stick with these two. Um, if you use PicMonkey, they have a feature in there where you can remove the backgrounds as well and add frames, that also has its place, so sometimes I will use that. Um, but these two are key, and to be honest with you, most often you can get done what you need to get done right there in Canva. So, with that being said, I hope that you learned something from this video. Feel free to contact me if you, you know, have a question about it. Again, I'm Christine Jones, and I can be reached at 215 nine zero one seven six five one or cr jones at clear choice financial solutions dot com god bless